v squared of the north time equation. And again, this is you know talking about the details and then also solving them. So we know that the v squared equation is vf squared equals v naught squared plus 2ax. And again, x is really a delta x, and that plus can be a minus depending on speeding up or slowing down. So we look at this first equation, right? So I'm looking at that guy, and I'm trying to come up with a story about it. So if I see 12 squared equals 6 squared plus 2 times 3 times x, I mean, this is just saying I have an object that's moving at 6 meters per second. It's going to increase its velocity to 12 meters per second. The acceleration is 3, and the question is, how? what's the distance required to make that happen? So I got a car, or I got, I got a bike. Yeah, a bike's a reasonable speed. I got a bike, and I'm going 6 meters per second, and I want to increase my velocity to 12, and I know I can accelerate at 3 meters per second square. And the question is, how long will I need to do that for? Not time, but a distance. What's the required distance? And it ended up being 18 meters. Um, now, again, I tried to look at all the permutations here. Now, this the second equation, the v squared equals 12 squared minus 2 times 5 times 8. That's saying, if you look at it, I'm going 12 meters per second. I'm going to slow down at a 5 meter per second acceleration. Again, the acceleration is negative. I'm going to slow down, and I'm going to do that for 8 meters. The question is, how fast will I be going after that? Well, it turns out if you solve that equation, you're going to be going 8 meters per second after slowing down. If you look at the last, this one, there will, there's no v squared or v naught squared. So that must mean the initial velocity is 0. And this is saying, well, I got a final velocity of 10. I got a distance of 25, and it's saying, what's the acceleration? So the story would be something like, I got, I'm got i not moving at all, and I'm looking for what's the acceleration necessary to speed up to 10 meters per second if I have 25 meters to do it. So I got like a runway, and I know it's 25 meters. I have to get up to 10 meters per second, starting at rest. What is my acceleration required? And it turns out that the acceleration required would be 2 meters per second squared. If you can't accelerate at 2 meters per second, you cannot get to 10 if you only have 25 meters. You're going to need a bigger distance. And the last one is saying, hey, I must, I must have the ability to accelerate at 5, and I have 30 meters to do it, and I'm, I know I need to get to a speed of 20 uh, meters, meters per second. The question is, how fast do I need to start in order to make this happen? Again, the initial... Uh, what would be the initial speed to accomplish that goal? And again, I'd have to then start at 10 meters per second. You know, think of that equation. Dude, the equation's got four variables. I can give you a story that has any four of those variables. And if you look at here, I gave you each permutation. And I tried to mix up some speeding up and then some slowing down and a V naught of zero. But this equation, again, no time. It doesn't have time. I don't care. I care about the distance the acceleration, and the initial and final velocity. If you have situations like that, that's when you want to use the no time. You want to stop. And you got your, you know, you're a car and you're traveling and you want to, you know, you want to stop and not, not hit something. And it's a distance you have to stop. Well, that's a no time equation. You're a jet on an aircraft carrier and you have a certain distance of aircraft carrier to launch. Again, we don't care about time. We care about distance. That's the V squared equation. The v squared equation relates velocities, accelerations, and distances. And again, sometimes we have a final velocity of zero. We stopped, and so the left side is zero. And then sometimes the initial velocity is zero. And so there's just not a v naught squared term here, like this guy here on number 20. Again, but all four of these are just going to have slightly different stories, and they're pretty easy to algebraically solve. I mean, it is just algebra one at that point. It is just solving for a variable, right? Um, subtract the, the 6 squared and then divide by that. This is just type in and take a square root. Just remember to take a square root. Sometimes we do forget to do stuff like that. Um, but hopefully this gives you some stories of, of why we would want to use the uh, no time equation.